The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 1st Canto, 15th Chapter, text number 47 and 48, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on December 25th, 1973, in Los Angeles. Translation Thus by pure consciousness, due to constant devotional remembrance, they attained the spiritual sky, which is ruled over by the supreme Narayana, Lord Krishna. This is attained only by those who meditate upon the one supreme Lord without deviation. This abode of the Lord Sri Krishna, known as Goloka Vrindavan, cannot be attained by persons who are absorbed in the material conception of life. But the Pandavas, being completely washed of all material contamination, attained that abode in their very same bodies. Sadhyana Uddiktaya. <coughs> Dhyana means meditation. So the Pandavas always they were thinking of Krishna. While they are eating, they are sitting, they are sleeping, they are talking, they are fighting. Krishna. This is Krishna called. When Arjuna was fighting, so there was also Krishna. When they were dealing in politics, ah, with Duryodhan, there was Krishna. Krishna is his friend, uh, always talking with him, staying with him, uh, sleeping with him, eating with him. So, anyone can do that. Krishna consciousness is so nice. Well, if in our ordinary life uh, we deal with Krishna as Arjuna did and the Pandavas did, so what is the difficulty for us? There is no difficulty. Uh, Simply, uh, we have to practice it. And that practice is bhaktya. Therefore, it is said, tadhyana kudriktaya bhaktya. This is only possible through devotional service. Krishna was so near to the Pandavas on account of their devotion. <coughs> Narandmani eulogized the Pandavas that uh, gyanis and yogis they cannot reach even, but by your devotion, he is living with you as friend, not only as friend, but sometimes as your order carrier. Uh, Pandavas sometimes during the negotiation with the Buddha, sometimes ask Krishna, Krishna will take this letter and deliver to Buddha. Agree? Yes? Agree? The ordinary peon, then ordinary chariot driver, Partha Sarathi. So this is possible. If we become devotee of Krishna, then you can live with Krishna face to face, talk with Krishna, eat with Krishna, dance with Krishna, even in this life. Even in this life. Because Krishna is omnipotent. Uh, if you are really devotee of Krishna, he will talk with you, he will dance with you, uh, he will eat with you, everything. Uh, Premanjana charita bhakti vilo charena. Again, this bhakti. <coughs> By bhakti, prem, love. Uh, Premanjana charita bhakti vilo charena. Uh, santa sadaiva, santa. 
saintly person. Uh, this word, Sanskrit word, santa, is also, I think, Latin, saint. Uh, santa. Santa means saintly person. So santa, those who are saintly person, those who have developed love of Krishna, they can see Krishna every moment. Santa sadaiva. Sadaiva means every moment. They do not see anything except Krishna. That is saintly person. Uh, the rascals inquire, have you seen God? And not seeing God's side, he is seeing every moment. There is no question of seeing God once. No. Sadaiva. Santa Sadaiva. How one can see Sadaiva? Krishna is already there. Ishara Sarvabhutana Vridhesha Ajrati. The location is given there in the Bhagavad Gita. You can see God. Not you have to go very far away from your place. Wherever you are, you can see. Because God is within your heart. Ishara Sarvabhutana Vridhesha. Sarvabhutana. Not only for human beings. But also uh, animals, bees, trees, plants, aquatics, insects, everyone, beginning from Brahma down to the end. Uh, <coughs> God is everywhere. Anantarastham paramanuchayantarastham. God is within this universe, within your heart, even within the atom. So where is the difficulty? Simply you have to make your eyes to see. That's all. That is premanyana charita bhakti bilochana. Love. Ah. It is not very difficult to understand. If you love somebody, then you can see him always. Ah. When you are in office, you are seeing, you are, you are eating, you are seeing. You are going, if you are actually in love, say if it is possible materially, how much greatly it is possible spiritually and perfectly. Uh, it is possible. Uh, simply by this method, bhaktya visuddha dhisana pare. Visuddha. Visuddha means purify. Uh, our consciousness is not purified at the present moment. But if you purify it, that purification also is possible simply by uh, becoming in touch with Krishna already. So, uh, this touch is very easily uh, made possible. Uh, Sinnatang. This is the charm. Sinnatang. Sinatang means by hearing, by oral reception. Uh, simply uh, those who are coming here, even they do not know anything about it. But God has given this ear and let him hear about Krishna. Uh, we are there for discussing so many. We have written so many books simply about Krishna. Uh, not all books published. We have published about 20 books. Uh, but we have to finish it. It cannot be finished. But at least to some extent it will be finished by 60 books. Uh, and what is that subject matter? Krishna. That's all. Uh, people cannot imagine that uh, about God Sixty books can be written. There is no, uh, I mean to say, system of religion where you can find not sixty is the minimum. The so minimum sixty books of four hundred pages can be written simply on God. 
So that is possible. If we divert our attention to Krishna consciousness, uh, we can chant Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Krishna, Deva Krishna. We can read about Krishna whole life, such big literature, whole life. If you read 24 hours daily, that you cannot. Uh, still you have to devote your whole life to finish this literature. So you have got enough material to become Krishna conscious. Uh, my Guru Maharaj was questioned by one big politician. He, he came to see him. So my Guru Maharaj, he was asking us, what are your activities? So at that time he was publishing one paper. I think it is still published in Mahapur. It is called uh, it is called Dainik Delhi News. It was a Delhi newspaper, small. Navadhi uh, <coughs> Prakash like that. Nadia Prakash. Nodhya Prakash, so daily. So this politician inquired from Guru Maharaj, you are publishing a daily paper about God consciousness? Yes. No, what you are reading? Writing. You are surprised. The politician saying that newspaper can be filled up with rubbish political news only. That's all. They cannot think that newspaper can be filled up uh, by news from spiritual world. <laughs> yes, they have no idea. They have no idea that is spiritual world. Uh, so my Guru Mahal explained that why you are thinking of only one small newspaper. Uh, you do not know what is spiritual world, the, this material world is one-fourth portion of the whole creation of the Lord. And the three-fourth portion is the spiritual world. And in this one-fourth portion there are innumerable universes. And in one of the universes this is one of the universe. And in each universe there are millions of planets. And this planet, our three planet, is only a small planet in that universe. And on this earthly planet there are so many cities. And in each city there are so many newspapers. And each newspaper has got so many editions. This is the position of the material world. Now think about the spiritual world. It is the spiritual world is three, four, uh, three times bigger than this material. Uh, and there are so many planets, so many uh, universes, and so many activities. Uh, so we can uh, produce uh, not one newspaper daily, but every minute a newspaper we can produce. Unfortunately, there is no customer. You see, this is the difficulty. For material news, there are so many customers, but when we put something, spiritual news, no customer. This is the difficulty. Otherwise, you are thinking of one newspaper daily, we can issue every second a newspaper about spiritual news. So this sixty book is not sufficient. It is simply an introduction to the spiritual activity of the spiritual world. People have no interest, they do not know. We are simply trying to introduce it. Uh, <coughs> so this can be understood by 
विशुद्ध धीजना प्यूरिफाइड मेडिटेशन दैट इज दैट रिक्वायर प्रैक्टिस हाउ टू प्यूरिफाई विशुद्ध धीषणा तस्मी नारायण पदे एंड इट कैन बी अचीव बाय पर्सन एकांत मतयो गति ए पर्सन हु हैज डिसाइडेड नाउ इन दिस लाइफ आई मस्ट गो बैक टू होम फॉर हिम टू डिस डिसीजन दैट इज कॉल भगवद गीता इट इज दिस बहुशात्मिका बुद्धि रेकी हूनंदन बहुशा का झलंता बुद्धि अव्यापुषाइना वन हू हेज डिसाइडेड दैट दिस लाइफ इट इज नॉट ऑर्डिनरी लाइफ लाइक द कैट्स एंड डॉग इट इज ह्यूमन लाइफ आई हेव गॉट एडवांस इंटेलिजेंस एंड इट इज पॉसिबल इन दिस लाइफ to go back to home back to god hai atat brahma jigyasa simply by cultivating spiritual knowledge no why should i waste my time like cats and dogs this determination required so, the cats and dogs are busy in eating sleeping sex life and one day dies so why should i waste my time in that way uh, I have got good intelligence. Uh, Krishna has provided me better standard of life. I can lie in nice room, not like the cats and dogs on the street. Krishna has provided for me so nice food stuff, uh, which I can offer to Krishna. Patram pusnam phalam toyam. So nice fruits, grains, meal. So. Let us utilize these things given by Krishna. Krishna has given different food star for different uh, animals and human being. Krishna has given stool for the pigs, and so nice food star, uh, fruits and grains and milk for the human being. Uh, not that every food is for everyone. No. Uh, what is uh, uh, called uh, one man's food and another man's poison? Uh, so the the stool is also a kind of food. Everything is a kind of food. In the stone is also food. You know the pigeons they eat the stones part of it. Uh, they can digest. Uh, uh, for them the hardest peas are supplied. Uh, so they can digest. Uh, Pyramotor, it is called in India. Pyramot. Pyram means pigeon. Pigeon speaks. Uh, they require such thing. Uh, uh, that's like the gorilla, the gorilla animal, where they live in the African jungles. Uh, we have read both. There are trees. The fruits of that tree uh, are so hard, harder than the iron bullet. You can uh, hammer on the bullet; it may bend, but that fruit will not bend. So those fruits are taken by the gorillas and they chew it, just like you chew peanuts or something like that. So Krishna has given different food stuff for different animals. Uh, so for human being, we is. Determined to go back to home, back to God. Right? They have got their food. Uh, for them, no meat eating. Uh, for them, no meat. For them, uh, fine kachori, yasugalla, puri. Uh, for them, as you are, uh, I think, uh, Doctor Barnard sir. He wrote one book. You are what you eat. If you eat stool, then you are stool. Because after all, this body will be stool. Uh, 
because after death the uh, result is either the body becomes stool or ass or earth. Those who are burying on the ground, in due course the body will turn into earth. That's all. And those who are burning, like in India, as Hindus do, this will turn into ass. And those who are throwing for being eaten by the animals and birds, just like Parsis do in India, they throw and vultures come and they eat within a second. So after it is, it will be stool of the vulture. That's all. And so with this beautiful body will be resulted in three things, either stool, earth, or ash. And we are taking so much care. <laughs> For stool, earth, and ashes. And the occupier of the body forgot. And you are advanced scientist. This is our position. Therefore, it is said, Vishuddha Dhisana Pare. Those who are purified in their thinking process, those who are thinking I have this body, they are third class rascals. The present world is simply full with third class rascals. That's all. Because everyone is thinking, I'm American, I'm Indian, I'm white, I'm black, I'm Hindu, I'm Muslim, I'm Christian. So I have this body. That's all. But they cannot. They cannot. Therefore it is said, Virajena Atona Yivo. Virajena. Virajena means one who has become completely washed, clean. Viraja. Raja. Raja means this material world. Uh, and B means bigata. Uh, without. Virajena Yivo. Uh, and it is very difficult to come to this position. Therefore it is said, Abhapu Duru Bhapang. It is very difficult to come to this stage of life, but the Pandavas, Abhapu, they got it. And for whom it is very difficult, that is also. Asadabhi, Asadabhi Vishayatmabhi. Who is Asad? Asad means Oh, uh, that does not exist, or uh, that will not exist. There are two things. Uh, one thing will exist permanently, and one thing will not exist. It may exist for a few minutes, a few hours, or years. So this material world is asap, material, because it will not exist. Just like your this material body, it will not exist. Everyone knows. Everyone knows that it is born at a certain date. It will continue for certain years. It will produce some byproducts. It will change into different forms. And then it will become old and then dwindle and one day finish. This is called sarobika, six kinds of changes. It is not progress. Uh, if one is progressing in his age, it is not progress. It means he is going to death. Uh, suppose I am 78 years old. So I am 78 years, I have already died. Only, say, two or five years or some, something like remaining balance. So people say, Advances. No, advance in death, not advance in age. <coughs> so, this is also. It will not stay. It has begun to die from the very moment of its birth. If you ask a newly born child, uh, uh, how old it is? The mother says, it is one month. So one month means he has already died one month. And balance months and years, he has to die. Simply has to wait for the death. 
So this kind of duration of life is called also. And this kind of existence, this material existence, is also asat. Narottam Das Thakur therefore sings, Satasanga chari koinu asate milas te karane lagilo mor karma bandha phas. I gave up satsanga, om tatsat, spiritual society. I associated myself with the material society. Therefore, I am now entangled by karma, one after another, one after another. So, spiritual realization is difficult for person or for the Why it is difficult? Vishayatma V. Because they are simply attracted by the four principles of material life eating, sleeping, sex life and one death. Uh, they cannot. One must be above these interests. Uh, one must be very sane man. That these kinds of interests are there in the animals. So I am, if I am also interested in only these things, then what is the difference between this dog and me? Uh, something more. Uh, that information is given in the Bhagavad Gita. Abhinashi Tukade Vidhi Jena Sadma Vidam Dakam. Jena Sadma Vidam. This body uh, is perishable, asat. But there is another sat, means permanent thing. What is that? Abhinashi Tukade Vidhi. You try to understand that thing which is eternal. What is that? Jena Sarma Vidam Tatam. That which is spreading all over your body. You pinch your body, you feel pain. Why? Because there is consciousness. That a consciousness is permanent. And as soon as the consciousness is gone, you chopped up your head. No response. That is a very nice statement. Thoughts, that consciousness is avinasi, is eternal. Very difficult. So those who are not interested to understand this consciousness and the origin of consciousness, they are asat. They, they cannot understand what is spiritual life. Therefore the beginning of spiritual life in the Bhagavad Gita <coughs> It is said that Dehinasminjathadehi in this body, in this asat, this temporary body, there is the proprietor of the body. Dehinasminjathadehi, the proprietor of the body. So that is to be understood. So how it can be understood? Vidhuta kalmasa. Those who are washed off of the sinful act. Therefore, we prescribe uh, that don't be associated with these sinful activities. What is that? Illicit sex, meat eating, intoxication, and gambling. One who is washed off of this Vidhuta Kalmasa, Thano, that Thano, that place is virajena atmanaiva vidhuta kalmasa those who are washed up uh, otherwise it is not possible if you think that i shall do this and do that then do this not that that is finish uh, go on doing this life after life and remain in this material that is the point thank you very much